happy sunday happy sunday welcome to a new vlog y'all my camera is fogging <laughs> i just came from out from in the house what the heck i just came from inside the house so my um camera keeps fogging up i'm trying to find the best lighting because it's super bright out here today but happy sunday i am on my way to church on this beautiful sunday morning i just wanted to say good morning welcome we have a week to be with each other again like i told you guys i wasn't gonna do like every week i might do like every other week for the weekly vlog so this week we own i just filmed a foundation review how y'all like it Ugh. let me do something with this lighting in this camera it keeps fogging up girl this heat is this better hopefully this is better um so yeah i just did a foundation review i just filmed the first part i'm gonna do a wear test so um, you'll see that soon. I'm pretty sure you'll see the vlog before you see. Uh, oh, no, you might. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I might, might not. I don't know. But you're going to see it sometime soon. So, I'm on my way to church. As usual, as I do every Sunday, the baby is not with me today. He's with his daddy. So, I'm going to see him later on. But I miss my poo-poo miss my chuck chuck so much but the this is single parenting co-parenting part of the journey you have to let your child go stay with their dad away from you and your protection and your guidance and your love it's a struggle sometimes for me um but I know it's necessary. I have a male, so I, it's necessary for me for him to spend time with his dad so that he can learn how to be a man because the reality of the fact is I'm a woman. I can't teach him how to be a man. Only a man can teach him how to be a man. So, you know, when before I had children, I always wanted that's why I wanted to wait till I was married because I didn't want my child to grow up without his father to be able to instill that men, manliness in him daily. But you know, sometimes life has, you know, curves and twists and turn. It's life. So you can't really, I can't really stress or worry about it. Um, but I'm just happy that he's able to spend time with his dad. Um, I'll never stop him from spending time with his dad because, like I said, raising a black male, that's imperative that they're, they have a male figure in their life. Now, he does have my dad. My dad is, um, I still live with my parents, so my dad is here every day. So he still has my dad, but it's nothing like his father. So now we're talking about daddies. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Happy Father's Day to my wonderful daddy. He is the best daddy a girl could ever ask for or want. He is amazing. He's my protector. He's my guidance. He does everything that I could ever ask for. Um, he is the ideal, the ideal father for anybody and I love him forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever even when he's dead and gone I'm still gonna love him forever because I love my daddy so much and he was so spoiled this father's day I'll show y'all his gifts later he was so spoiled this this father's day so when we get back I'll show you um show you guys his gifts but I'm headed off to church my mom's giving me the eye because I'm out here talking and she's it's time to get in the car and go so I'll see you guys later. Peace. Yeah, look what my daddy did. I don't miss him. He's country. We got McDonald's. Let me turn y'all around. We got McDonald's. 
and he went in the house to get butter to put on his biscuit because he got a sausage biscuit and hash brown. Can you say country? Country, country, country. I'm gonna show y'all his jersey later. He got one of his gifts on today. Give me my keys. Turn around in the back. His hat at home. To wanna drive. That's one of his gifts. I'll show y'all the rest when we get to the Tanya, house. Tanya, you know what? Well, it doesn't. So this is my dad's space city head. Get the Throw it on him. Two oh, pairs of shoes. Cool. I forgot to put it in the It's still in the case. Mommy's talking yeah. loud, of course. Yeah. These are. You see that at the bottom? One pair. This is his second pair. Kohan. These are his Kohan shoes. Hey guys, happy Monday. Today is Monday and to listen to JT you. singing happy birthday. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I did not pick up the camera at all today. Today was off. This is the federal holiday for Juneteenth. So I was off. So I did not do anything. I washed clothes and I sat on the couch all day. So now, I already ate. Happy birthday. My baby got stung, y'all. He got stung by a waltz. And I was so, like, try to show y'all his lip. Look at his lip. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. You singing happy birthday? So yeah, he got stung and it's horrible. Like it went down some, but when it first happened, he was screaming hysterically, like he's doing now. But um, not that much. Come on now, I'm about to get him ready for the bed, and then we're gonna go to bed, and I'm gonna call it a day. So I see you guys tomorrow. Happy Juneteenth. Peace. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy, what's today? <laughs> Tuesday. Um, I'm here at work. Um, here to start to work another day. Um, work actually should be pretty chill today because we were off yesterday. We have started our summer, summer scheduling. So, we don't, um, it's not really a lot of activity, a lot of things to do. So it should be real, real chill, hopefully. Um, we did start a summer schedule. So now, y'all, I gotta be to work till six o'clock. I work 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. We work four 10 hour days and we're off every Friday which I have mixed feelings about because I like being off on Fridays, but I be so tired from working 10 hours that I'm like, Lord, it'd be something serious. Um, but I'm gonna be doing that for the rest of the month and all of July. Mm -hmm. Yeah, July and then I think the first week of August. So like the second week of August is when it's back to normal, I think. Yeah. So, um, that's it for today. Just work. Oh, and then when I get off, I need to go to Walmart because I need to get the baby some more pull-ups. Um, and then I gotta get, get a little, a few more things. I gotta get a clothes hamper. My clothes hamper finally broke after five years. I've been having... <laughs> <laughs> Same one, but five years. And it finally just toppled on over. So I have that. I have to get I have to get the baby some more lotion. Pampers. Yeah. And peanut butter. 
that's it. I only got like four things, four things to buy. So I'm gonna get that at Walmart. And then after that, I'm going to go home. So yeah, that's it for today. Well, getting ready to start my day. So I will see you guys later. Bye. I'm back home and um, I'm taking JT's bath. Y'all, my hair is a mess. A mess. I'm finna get my sister to do me a top knot. The top. Uh, she finna do that right now. Well, once I get JT out the bathtub. Um, so from Walmart, I didn't, I'm not gonna do a haul cause I only got like five things. Oh, I can show y'all the dirty clothes hamper. This is the dirty clothes hamper that I got. This is the dirty clothes hamper that I got. You know, simple, regular, degular, dirty clothes hamper. But this is something that I got that I'm really excited about. Um, Venus, this is for TMI, for pubic hair and skin. Um, so I got this one because I recently, like the last couple of months, um, I ended up getting laser treatment, but the laser, so I got eight treatments. I got the Brazilian, the Brazilian extended, and then I got my mustache done. And I feel like it really didn't do much to my whole area my brazilian i know it's not supposed to make it go away but to me it didn't even really it made kind of a difference but not really like i still have a lot of hair growth so i'm trying to debate if i want to get laser again with a different company or if I want to just get it wet. I can't talk because he's so loud. Um, I don't know if I want to get it waxed. So if I get it waxed then I won't have to shave. But if I get laser, if you ever had laser before, then you know when you get laser you cannot you cannot wax. I'm going to step out the restaurant because he's so loud. Um, you cannot laser, you have to, um, <clears throat> you have to wax. No, you can't wax. You have to shave. So because I haven't figured out what I want to do, that's why I'm going to just continue to shave because I've been just shaving because I've been getting laser. Um, but I'm going to do research on that and see if I want to go to another company, if I want to just get a wax and just keep up with the wax um but overall my laser experience it was very different than what i expected for it to be i thought it would be more painful than it was my some people say that it's very painful for me it wasn't that painful it was painful but it was bearable to me maybe my tolerance pain tolerance level is high i don't really know but um it wasn't as painful for me. Um, but if you guys want to know more about my laser hair removal experience, comment below. Let me know and I can do, I can dedicate a separate video for that. But, y'all see my little too? Girl, it didn't had it. I'm going to try to get it fixed because I want to try to keep it. So, in case you didn't know, your girl birthday coming up. 
So for my birthday, my birthday here, I'm getting a ponytail. Like I want a, I don't know if I want a short one that's like here, or if I want a long one. I ain't quite figured it out yet. But I'm trying to make my hair last until my birthday. Try to make it last to at least to my birthday. So I'm gonna try to get my sister to do me a top knot. Um, so that'll last me at least to the end of the week. Um, and then if I wash it, that's fine. I can wash it and then just put it in a puff and just keep it in that puff for three days and then get my hair done. Cause I'm gonna get my hair done most likely on Thursday. In case you didn't know, my sister is my second hairstylist. <laughs> I mean, you know, I go to my natural hair girl, which y'all seen in the last vlog. Um, I go to her, uh, Taylor made Andrea. But my sister does all my other stuff. So I'ma try to probably get her to do my hair on Thursday because baby, next weekend. Your girl is going to be in the streets. In the streets. So, I'm going to be in the streets Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. My birthday is on Sunday, which is July 3rd. Um, so, I'll probably get my hair done Thursday so I could be ready for Friday. Thursday night so I could be ready for Friday. Because I'm off on Friday too, so I'm going to be in the streets during the, during the day. I got to be all the way right. So I'm gonna probably get that done. So I'm trying to do something to kind of get my hair to last a little longer, but we gonna figure it out. Um, but I'm gonna take JT's bath because he's over here splashing water everywhere. Oh, update, my baby's lip is all the way down. It's like completely normal now um, from his wasting. I did give him some Benadryl later on that night before we went to bed just so you know to kind of help him out when he woke up this morning it was a little little a little bit um swollen but it wasn't that bad and then right now it's not swollen at all the swelling has completely went away so that's good he wasn't extremely allergic to the to the wasp thing so that's good but um i'm gonna take his bath take my bath then my sister probably gonna do my hair i'm gonna try to show y'all as she do my hair or if not i'ma show y'all the end result he crying because he hit his head but let me take care of him okay guys this is my top knot it's kind of high boy <laughs> but this is my top knot done and i'm Lenny going did. and i'm gonna go to the brunch for her birthday he is i don't know what he i am about. Tell me he going to the brunch for my birthday. I am. We, that, we going to the family brunch. He just has to be in the video every time. Y'all know that. Cause, like I said, remember what I she said? She got my edges laid. Now, if, are they going to look like this tomorrow? Ha! <laughs> Question of the day. They look like that tomorrow. I don't know. But by the end of the week, maybe not. <laughs> we didn't say by the end of the week, maybe not. Look at both of them. Fresh, huh? Look, does he say hi? He just grinning. <laughs> <laughs> say cheese. You too, him. Cheese. Look. Get your monster face. Say cheese. Ready? <laughs> say cheese. Cheese. See say how he acts. Cheese. All right, so we're getting ready to go. To bed. I don't know what he talking about. Hold on for like <laughs> this his video. Oh, he went and got something in the room. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> I want to show y'all my art. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so. Oh, okay. so I drew this person. His name is Zoom. Goku. He from, Give me that paper. He from supposedly. Give me that paper. Like, He's supposedly from one of my Japanese cartoons. Give him here. And I drew him all Thank by myself. You. Just wanted to show y'all that. <laughs> and I can draw. <laughs> y'all okay. know y'all know this his video. His this is his channel too. Um, but yeah. So that's it for the time my hair up and I'm finna go to bed. Cause it is 9.30. And me and JT try to be in the bed by 9.30 so he can be asleep.
by 10. Oh, so, I will see you guys hey. tomorrow. Well, Peace you out. Have hey guys, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Um, I am at work. Sadly, I'm at work, but <laughs> it's okay. Um, so we're working today. Um, after work, I am supposed to go to choir rehearsal. Um, my top knot, y'all see it did good last night. Baby, my sister got this slick. Y'all know I'm natural, so she was fussing, talking about you natural hair people it's so hard i gotta work hard to get y'all hair slick i was like well don't get it that slick like get it kind of slick but you know don't worry about it being super straight she was like no -uh, you're not gonna be going around telling people that um i did your hair and it's looking like that <laughs> like girl <laughs> she extra <laughs> so she had to work hard she said to make it slick so whatever um, but yeah, this morning was a smooth, smooth morning. The baby didn't act crazy today. He was normal. He was cool. Um, he did want to, however, want to eat my breakfast, which I was like, so I gave him his breakfast, which I gave him a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every morning. Um, that's what he eats. So I gave him, I wake him up. Give him his peanut butter jelly sandwich. He eats his sandwich, watch his tablet or whatever. Then when he gets done, I get him dressed. Then we leave. Well, this morning, we got ready to go. It was like five minutes till it was time to go out the door. I got my breakfast together, which usually I do like either cereal or sometimes I buy like those Jimmy Dean bowls or something like that or oatmeal. So today I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and give me some oatmeal it's quick. Warm it up two minutes out the door. So I get ready to warm my, eat my oatmeal up. I get the bowl, get the pack of oatmeal. So he's looking and he's like, eat? And I'm like, no. <laughs> That's mommy's food. Eat. Eat. I'm like, Jamar, no. So then I proceed to warm my oatmeal up. He's standing at the microwave, looking at the microwave, looking, looking for it. Looking for it to get done. He ready to push the button to get it out. I'm like, no. <laughs> so then he, the, the oatmeal get done, it come out. He gets a bowl from out the little thing where the dishes is. He gets his, his kid bowl and puts his bowl <laughs> next to my bowl and say, eat. I'm like, oh. So now I got to give him half of my oatmeal, which I only did one pack. I do the instant oatmeal. I did one pack, and one pack is enough. It's not a whole lot, but it's enough. So I only did one pack, and now I got to give him half of my one pack, which is really not a lot. So I'm like, ugh. I give him half. He gets his bowl. He goes sit at his table like he getting ready to eat. I was like, no, it's time to go. So I have to get him to take his bowl with him, take it so he can eat it in the car. So he's eating his bowl of oatmeal. Then I get, I'm in the, I'm eating mine. At this point, I'm eating and driving, but it's not a big deal. It's just like a scoop of oatmeal, whatever. He gets done with his half, and I'm still eating my half, and he eat. And he hands me his bowl for some more. I'm like, dude, you are eating my breakfast. Now, I'm not going to have breakfast. So, I have to give him the rest of the oatmeal that I have in my bowl to him. And I'm like, dude, you have already had breakfast. Which he does eat breakfast at daycare. If he gets there before breakfast time, like now that I'm on my summer schedule, he's getting there before breakfast ends. Usually, during regular time, he'll get there like right, like two, three minutes before breakfast ends, which he might, he may get some, he may not. But I always feed him before I leave the house. So whether he gets breakfast or not, I always feed him. You know, breakfast is just a little extra. So I guess he's feeling hungry today. So he ate 
more than half of my oatmeal. So now I'm at work with no breakfast. I had to eat the grapes that he was supposed to have because I got him some grapes to eat in the car. He didn't eat them, so I had to eat them. I'm drinking water and I had a fig, a fig bar. That's what I had. So I'm like, tomorrow he is not seeing my breakfast because he is not about to eat all my food. <sighs> the struggles, the that's the struggles us moms go through. That the kids want your food and you gotta give it to them so then now you hungry to feed them. So being what being a mom is all about. <laughs> so I'm like, so tomorrow I'm making sure he don't see my breakfast at all. Cause he's not gonna eat my breakfast every day. He not. So um that's my little adventure for the morning. Uh but that's it. Um, oh, let me show y'all. I got these new shoes. Okay, this is got all the other shoes I got under my desk. But I got these shoes. These shoes are so cute. I just got them from Macy's. They're aerosols. Aerosols. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Aerosols. And let me turn y'all back around. And I got them at Macy's recently. So they are really, really cute and they're really comfortable. The heel is not that high, which maybe in my old age, <laughs> I'm not gonna say my old age cause I ain't that old. Uh, I will be 38 um, very shortly. But in, with my age, I'm trying to get heels that are more comfortable, that are not um, as tall so these shoes, I wanted them because I wanted to be able to wear them to work and wear them out. So that's why I got these shoes. So um, yeah, them sh these shoes are really cute and they're really comfortable. So um, that's it for now. Uh, like I said, I have work. Um, the only thing I'm going to do on my lunch break, I'm going to start editing my video my new video that's gonna come up go up this weekend, probably Saturday. Um, but yeah, then when I get off work, I'm gonna go home, go to choir rehearsal, which is I'm not gonna get home till nine, ten o'clock. Then go back home. So I only got one more day. I got today, one more day of work, and I'm off on Friday. This is my first Friday off, and I'm excited. So um I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Happy Saturday. Today is Saturday. And I know I haven't talked to you guys in quite a bit. But um, nothing major has been happening. So I just, you know, haven't really picked up the camera <laughs> in a couple of days. But that's okay. Um yesterday was my first off day my first friday off and i was super excited until the drama with my car so i have a ford fusion if you don't know um and ford has been doing a lot of recalls lately so right now it's i had to do a recall inspection on the steering wheel bolt then I had to do a recall for the brake lights. For some reason, the 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 brake lights in the back of the car, well, that's what the brake lights are. <laughs> they don't want to didn't want to turn off. So, they did a recall for that. So, I had to go get that fixed. So, your girl went and dropped it off. Old boy told me, the service guy told me it was going to be two and a half hours. I dropped my car off at 9 a.m. yesterday. How about I still don't have my car? Yeah. So they was like, oh, well, we have a part some kind of way. When somebody did your car, they super glued. So apparently somebody super glued some part to deal with my brakes together and i'm like why would you put super glue like i don't understand like logically 
was that really <laughs> a smart idea for you to do super glue like I, i'm not understanding anyway they did super glue so the man was like well we can't really fix our part because that part is super glued and you're gonna have to pay nine hundred dollars and i was like oh no sir go on drop my car down because your girl's not paying nine hundred dollars for a part i'm not i'm not so whatever you need to do just get it down so then i was pissed one thing about me and it wasn't the nine hundred dollars well i mean i wasn't really pissed about that because that that is what it is one thing about me is that i value customer service customer service is the number one thing to me customer service is free it's free for everybody all you gotta do is just be courteous you have to communicate customer service is free so i expect customer service when i'm getting something done period i don't care what it is if i'm getting it done i expect customer service so therefore i uh didn't receive a call at all for the entire day that they had my car they didn't call me and say hey just want to give you an update this is this was super glue we can't do our part blah 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 they ain't come and tell me jack i had to call i started calling at two and was like uh what's up where's my car like what are y'all doing so then the man was like oh well we got to get back with you i got to talk to the technician he about to get started what you mean he about to get started he didn't have my car since 9 a.m sir it's 2 50. what's going on here <laughs> so then he was like well i'm gonna call you back okay never call me back so then come five o'clock now i'm blowing them up like a bill collector at this point i didn't call five six times where is my car so then that's when like at six something is when the man like almost close to six is when he came and was like oh well this is the problem this is what we found and blah 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 so i was like man look i'm finna come get my car i'm not paying 900 dollars. i'm about to come get my car so when i got there the manager the service manager was like oh how can i help you and I was like, uh, I came to get my car. And he was like, well, did they call you? Is it ready? And I was a little petty. And I was like, no, they didn't call me. And I was like, no, they didn't call me. Yes, it's ready. I found that out after I called him five times. And I gave him the look like. <laughs> and he was like, oh, okay. So then he gets involved in my case or whatever and so now he's like oh well he told me what happened and i gotta go find out let me go look at your car it's still in the back let me see if it's okay and so he goes to the back now he been gone for 20 minutes and i'm like okay since he gone for 20 minutes i already know it's some funny business going on because you didn't come right back so he comes back and he was like ma'am I reconnected everything when it comes to your brakes and your brake lights won't turn off. I said, okay, so what you gonna do about it? So he was like, well, I gotta, it's a part coming. We're gonna fix the part. We're gonna get the part, we're gonna fix it. I know they quoted you a quote, but I talked to my, my supervisor and he said that we can't, because it has to do with our recall, we can include it in our recall and then you won't have to pay. And I was looking at him like, dude, I wasn't paying $900 anyway. So, so he was like, yeah, we're going to take care of it or whatever. I was like, when is my car going to be ready? He was like, well, either tomorrow, if not tomorrow, for sure on Monday. So now I'm like, your girl ain't got a car for the whole weekend. How is this my life i don't have a car for the entire weekend so i have to borrow cars luckily my family got a parking lot uh my mom has a car my dad has his truck and then he got another car my sister got a car my mom is off for the summer so 
if my car is not ready today i'm gonna probably drive her car for work tomorrow monday but i'm like stuff like this make me be like this is why i need a husband i need a husband that's gonna take care of all of this crap for me that i don't have to worry my pretty little head with none of this drama i can't handle it it's too much i mean i can i mean i did but i, I don't want to do that i don't want to do that anything had to do with the car i don't want nothing to do with that i just want him to just do it and he say here you go baby it's ready you could drive it thank you honey that's what <laughs> that's what i need that's the type of vibe i'm going for my daddy do that for my mama. She don't know nothing about the car. She just drive. Oh, shoot. That's not where I need to go. That's what I want to do. I don't want to have nothing to do with nothing. I just want to drive. That's it. But, and I'm not going to say I want to, and you heard me. I didn't say, I just didn't say I want to get a husband. Because I do want to get a husband or a man. I want one that'll take care of my car. Cause see, every husband, every man, not gonna do that. They not gonna take care of your car situation and your, you know, some women still have to take care of their own car situations with being married. Uh-uh, that ain't me. I don't want it. I used to have to do that. I've been, a, I was an independent woman for a very. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to be turning. I'm tripping. Um, I was a very independent woman for a very, very long time. And I don't want to, I don't want to do it no more. You know, I don't. So I need somebody to handle that for me. So I am going to have a man that's going to handle that for me. And I ain't got nothing to worry about. But anyway, that was my rant <laughs> for today. Um, I'm getting ready to go to get my nails done. I took my nails off. I don't know if I showed you guys that I took my nails off. And baby, my nails hurt. Ooh, they hurt. I'm thinking about not getting nails at all, but I gotta get nails this weekend because it's my birthday and I can't have dishpan hands <laughs> for my birthday. No dishpan hands for me. So, I'm going to uh, go ahead and go get my nails done. And then I am... Ooh, I got a little close. And then I'm going to try to go to the grocery store to get groceries. I like to buy my groceries on Friday, Saturdays instead of... Um, Saturdays instead of Sundays. I usually cook on Sundays. But I found that if I cook and do shop for groceries in the same... Oh, it looked like it's a bunch of people in here. In the same um, week, the same day, I'm talking about week, in the same day that it just be too much for me. I ain't, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to deal with that. So, I'm um, we'll gonna go to the grocery store after the nail shop and that'll be it for the day. Oh, I wanted to show you guys my nail inspiration. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, this is how I want my nails. So, that's what I'm planning on getting for today. So, I'll see you guys when I come back from the nail shop. Wow.
guys. I have had a very eventful day. That's the baby that you hear in the background. Of course, doing my nightly duty of taking his bath. Um, so I went to get my nails done. As you can see, boom. I love my nails. These are my birthday nails and I love them. Um, I went to the grocery store. I did make gumbo for my family. They asked if I could make gumbo for them today. And of course, I obliged and I did it. Um, but it's summertime. I know most people are like, why are you eating gumbo in the summertime? I know. It's what it is. Um, so now I'm taking the baby bath. I'm going to take my bath. Y'all hear this? My life. Every time I get ready to talk on camera, this is him. He want to sing, talk loud, yell, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, I did find out that I do not have my car, and I will not have my car until Monday. <sighs> so now I gotta find. I guess I'm gonna drive my mama's car on Monday um, to work, but I'm not gonna sweat it. I did accomplish, I recorded two videos today. So that's good. One of the videos is a review on this foundation. Don't quite know when it's going to be up, but I did. No, stop. So that's good. Um, so yeah, now I'm about to get myself together. And. Go home. I mean, go home. Get myself together and go to bed. Um, y'all didn't see me. Um, I didn't show y'all my groceries. I did get a bunch of groceries, but I ain't show y'all because that's just it's too much. Um, but yeah. So today's Saturday. I'm gonna end the vlog today because I'm gonna start a new vlog. Tomorrow, I'm finna go out of here because he's loud. Um, I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow because it's gonna it's my birthday weekend coming up. I'm so excited! I am so excited. So, um, I do want to vlog my birthday. I'm gonna do a vlog. So I'm gonna have three vlogs up, three back to back. Well, not back-to-back, -back, like day back-to-back, -back, but week back-to-back. -back. So, I'm going to have this vlog. Then, I'm going to vlog next week because my birthday weekend starts that Friday. So, for that vlog, I'm going to do up leading up to my birthday weekend, which is um, Friday and Saturday. Then, my birthday is on Sunday. So, then I'm going to vlog the next week. That's going to be the part two of my birthday because that's Sunday and Monday. Because I'm partying Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Okay. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So, um, I will, you know, take you guys along as I celebrate. Um, I am going to, cons I'm considering, which I probably most likely will. I'm considering getting a hotel for my birthday. As you know, I live with my parents. But I do want to get a hotel simply so that I can just be alone, you know? People don't understand when you use when you have lived alone and you are used to being alone and used to just having your time. Like even when my child is not with me and like he's with his dad for the weekend, I still have a house full of people. And I don't, sometimes I don't want that. Ooh, the doorbell's ringing. Sometimes I just don't want that. Like, I want to be alone. So, I think I'm going to get a hotel room for the weekend just so I can be by myself. I'm going to probably stay Friday night, Saturday night. I'm in here and he's still out. I'm going to stay Friday night and Saturday night. And then, um, probably check out Sunday. So, um, but that's, I mean, y'all, y'all gonna see the ride, see, see everything happening. So, um, I can't be great. I cannot be great. I cannot be great. Jamar! 
Jamar! I'm right here. He sound like he's saying, Mama, water. Picture. I'm right here. No, no picture. No picture. <laughs> Tell my mama, where are you? <laughs> um, anyway. Mama, where are you? I'm going to go in the tent to my child. I will see you guys next week. I wish you guys nothing but happiness, love. Joy, all of us for this week. So, thank you guys for coming along for the ride for me this week, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!